Hello and welcome to your favorite educational portal edupediaworld.com We are continuing with the same topic measures of central tendency and under that we had started with arithmetic mean In the last two sessions we had seen the direct method of calculation and the deviation method today we will take up the step deviation method just to recall, the, under the direct method, when you have raw data, the formula is simple. It is summation of x, the variables, over the number of variables. And in case of the frequency distribution, whether grouped or ungrouped, the formula to find the arithmetic mean is summation of x multiplied by the frequency f divided by n, where n is the summation of frequency. In case of grouped data all we need to do is find take the value of x as the midpoint of each class interval under deviation method when the, you have raw data it's too trivial same is the case with step deviation method so when we have frequency distributions for deviation method we calculate the values as the assumed mean plus the summation of d into f divided by n sorry you have a plus here now a is your assumed mean and d d is the deviation which is calculated as the difference between the variable x and the assumed mean assumed mean, mean could be taken from anywhere from the data but it's better to take close to the actual mean now coming to step deviation method again most of the things are same as the deviation method let's take a problem first solve it and see and then we will discuss the formula to find the step deviation so let's see the steps of calculation first to start with let's take a simple question where we have ungrouped frequency data we need to find the assumed mean first the assumed mean a could be any value in between let's take it to be 25 and then we need to find the deviation the steps here are the same d would be equal to x minus a the assumed mean For x is 5 minus 25 and the same way we will drop this formula into the other cells and we get the deviation next in step deviation we have one additional column to be made now why do we use step deviation method see the deviation method was used to simplify the problem in case if the data given the values of x given are very large we simplify it by subtracting it from one as a number from amongst the uh, amongst the variables that is the assumed mean further suppose if even after finding the deviation if the data happens to be large or if the numbers are bigger and if it is difficult to calculate what we do is we take the common elements between the variables and here in our case we see that these are the product of 5 so 5 is the common element and we call that the step denoted by the letter H as 5 so the step here is 5 and we will divide our deviation values from fi this number so the step deviation value u let me call this as u would be 
the deviation d divided by h now in our case or we could put it together when I'm explaining the formula I'll further explain you this so just to solve let's take the deviation and divided by 5 we get the step deviation value we will drop it down to all the cells and then as usual we will find the product of well it's not D into F this time it's U into F so we will take the product of U and F here and that is minus 100 and then we will drag and drop to the other cells so we have u multiplied by f and again as usual we'll find the sum of this and also we need to find the sum of the frequency next now let's come to the calculation of the arithmetic mean as usual we will again divide the sum of u into f that is this divide by the sum of the frequency so we will have sum of u into f divided by sum of the frequency which we used to do previously the only difference is that we have not taken the sum of u uh, uh, sorry d into f or x into f we have taken u into f we will divide it by this next since we have got this value u by dividing d by h we will have to multiply this value with h and our h happens to be 5 so it will be this value multiplied by h which is 5 and then finally we can find the arithmetic mean which is the sum of a and this number which we have got here so it is a which is 25 plus the number which we have got here and it happens to be 24.16 so this is our arithmetic mean let's get back and let's see the formula for this the formula to calculate the arithmetic mean using step deviation method is a you remember we added a plus summation of well it is u into f divided by n n is the same as we had here what about u a again a is the assumed mean as we had taken previously u is the new number which uh, new uh, variable which we have and u is simply d over h in other words we see that the d is x minus a we can write here d as x minus a divided by h so that is u and what is h h in fact is the step value that is the common value between the intervals or between the uh, between the different classes subsequent classes okay so now you see here that we have obtained the we have obtained u by subtracting a which we add over here and by dividing h which we multiply over here oh in the formula of course we will have to multiply this value with h okay so whatever we are all you need to remember is that while obtaining d we just subtracted it so we are just adding it here but in the step deviation method to get the value of u we have subtracted a from x and also divided it by h therefore we need to add a to this and also multiply h in the final formula so remember the formula 
and I think it's simple because most of the steps are same as the deviation method the only thing is that this time you have a new uh, number and we can use only when we have uh, the when the classes are differing by a regular number and if, if it is not so we will not be able to use the step deviation method alright so let's practice some more questions let's take a question on class intervals yeah so we have the weights of people given in kilograms I think it is the same question as we had previously and the number of uh, people in each category so whenever we have class intervals our first step is to find the mid value that is X now in this case it's from 60 to 65 so mid value happens would be 62.5 next would be 67.5 72.5 next would be 82.5 87.5 93.5 these are the mid values my values of X next I need to find the value of D now we are doing it using step deviation method we can skip the column to calculate D we can directly find U U we know is X minus A divided by H now what is the value of A and H in this case let's assume A as a mid value if you could recall last time we had taken 77.5 so let's take 72.5 this time and see if we are getting the same answer so A is 72.5 and we see that each class differs by with a, by an interval a common interval of 5 so let's take H as 5 now let's calculate the value of u so here it will be let me let just have a look as how I'm doing it it's x minus a a is fixed so let me write it directly and that is divided by h which happens to be 5 okay I have already put the formula so I can just drop it down into all the other cells in this column and here I have my U next we need to find the product of U and F so here we have U and that needs to be multiplied by F which is here in the second column and I can drop it down now to all the other cells so we have U into F and here we need to find the sum as usual sum of the values of this column and also we need to find the sum of the number of people which if we could recall is 32 okay next now what is the formula some common part is that we divide the summation of u into f by summation of f thereafter we need to multiply the common number which we had divided here that is h so let's divide it by h and h happens to be 5 sorry we need to multiply because we have divided it let's multiply it by 5 and then finally the arithmetic mean would be A which is 72.5 plus the number above this so my arithmetic mean happens to be 74.218 which is exactly same as what we got 
by the previous method when we had taken 77.5 as our assumed mean and used the deviation method so this was step deviation method all right now to practice take a question and do it yourself here again you have the class intervals given in the first column the, uh, the frequency given in the second column pause me for a while and calculate the arithmetic mean using step deviation method you can also use you can interchange and solve it even by other methods to check if you're getting the same answer I will solve it for you by the step deviation method alright so let's do it and you can check if your answer is correct so whenever we have the class intervals we first find the mid value mid value happens to be X and in this case we see that the classes are varying from 93 to 97 when we add these two and divide by 2 it happens to when we add it happens to it comes to be 190 and divided by 2 we get as 95 and next it would be 100 and so on So we have the mid values, and by now, you, you wouldn't have, you shouldn't have any problem in doing this. Next, what do we need to do? Exactly, we need to find the assumed mean A. What can we take as A here? Well, any of the values which is in the center, we can take 110 or 115. Let's take 110 okay and we also then we can we are ready now to find D but since we are using the step deviation method let's also get the value for H since we see that the subsequent classes are differing by 5 we see that all of these are product of 5 let's take the value of H the step as 5 now we are ready to calculate D no let's do U directly of course you can even do D but we can avoid one additional column and extra work we can directly calculate the value of D uh, sorry U and U happens to be X minus A over H so here in this case 95 is the value of X minus A, A is 110 and that needs to be divided by 5 so let's put it in parenthesis divided by 5 and it's minus 3 I can just drop it down to the remaining cells of this column Excel makes life easier but when you, you are solving it on a paper you will have to do of course this is simple but sometimes when you have decimals you will have to work out anyways next we need to find the product of U and F so U here is minus 3 multiplied by F which is 2 and for the next cells just drop and here we have the u into f now we need to find the sum of u into f and also the sum of the number of students so sum of the number of students happens to be 60 and this is 11 next recall the formula we 
divide the summation of UF by the number of students, the total number of students and then that needs to be multiplied by this H which we used here to find U. So this needs to be multiplied by H which is 5 and this whole thing needs to be added. Let me do that in the next thing. So the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean would be the value of artificial assumed mean plus the value here. So the answer, the arithmetic mean is 110.9167 and that's our answer. So with that we have completed the first central tendency uh, measure that is arithmetic mean we are left with median and mode which we would take up in the subsequent videos for practice you can take all of these questions and solve them by different methods so that you get used to it next we would move to median in the next video keep watching edupediaworld.com thank you